Hey, what's going on everybody out there? Welcome to Gamers with Games. Now let's talk about Pokémon Tournament for the Nintendo Wii U. I've had the game now for a couple weeks. I got the game early for review from my friends over at Nintendo. And you can find my full written review of the game over on thecoalition.com. There's a link in the description box below. It's where I go into a lot of detail about the game. But let's summarize most of my feelings about Pokémon Tournament in this review and talk about some stuff I didn't really talk about over there. Pokémon Tournament is a blending of both the Tekken series and the Pokémon series into one unique and interesting fighting game that I'm pretty sure a lot of Wii U owners are really going to enjoy. It takes some of the best aspects from both Pokémon and Tekken and really kind of blends it together into one unique and interesting fighting game that not only is highly competitive, but also really highly addictive, both offline and online. Now, a couple of my issues that I have with the game is that the offline content seems a little bit meager and a little bit repetitive. The game has 16 characters, 16 different Pokemon to choose from, each with their own unique actual moveset and abilities that kind of influence the flow of a fight. However, with it being part in the Pokemon universe, I was expecting a little bit much more variety from the actual roster. I feel like this game could be expanded upon with DLC or even a future uh, sequel or iteration where there's a lot more characters available on the roster. Games like Tekken Tag Tournament support huge rosters, and again, developed by the same uh, people over at Bandai Namco, which could actually have a variety of different characters, each with their own movesets. And I feel like Pokémon could be something that benefits from that. Again, it's set in the Pokémon universe, and there's a ton of variety of different monster designs, and different types of characters, and unique Pokémon types to really implement into a game like this. But regardless though, what makes Pokémon really interesting and really unique is the types of actual flow of momentum in the combat. You fight between two different types of phases, both the field phase and the dual phase. The field phase plays like actual games like, uh, was it Power Stone, and kind of, you know, takes advantage of the whole 3D environment and the 3D space. You have this free-flowing movement, and you have an assortment of moves at your disposal. But let you land one super powerful blow onto your opponent, or if you get hit by a really strong attack, you'll shift phases into what's called dual phase. Dual phase plays a little bit more kind of like a traditional fighting game, where things are a lot more on a traditional 2D field. Very similar, I have to say, to like the original Tekken or Tekken 2 on PlayStation 1. But your entire moveset changes, and you're actually able to deal more damage than normal when you were actually in field phase. This totally changes the dynamic of fights and battles that which you'll be experiencing online and offline in Pokémon Tournament. Now, again, I've been spending a lot of time online playing Pokémon Tournament with a variety of different people that have been reviewing the game and such. And not only is the online really smooth and almost flawless to, to some sort of extent, but there are some missing features in there which I thought were really key for a game like this. There's no battle lobbies, there's no tournament mode, there's no extra sense of variety for any of the online modes, and I think it's a little bit overly complicated to actually get into a matchup with anybody that's on your friends list. Besides that though, there is a single player campaign called the Ferrum League, which acts like the game's story mode. And that is cool in its own right because again, it has the presentation of the Tekken Tag Tournament games, while still maintaining some of the different characteristics from the Pokémon universe. It plays sort of like a league where you're actually joining up on a Pokémon League and working your way up from the bottom to the top of the ranking system. However, there is a story here that actually ties everything together, but it's very shallow and I feel like it changes in tone rather quickly and also suddenly about halfway through the actual story mode. And once you get towards the end, which I won't spoil some of the actual stuff that's out there, I know a lot of people have talked about the final boss being Mewtwo or Shadow Mewtwo and stuff like that, but that's not what I'm referring to specifically. When you actually get to the real ending, the real climax and the finale of the actual game, it feels all too unrewarding. You're able to unlock two extra characters in the course of the actual story mode campaign, and all these extra assist Pokémon that you can use during the course of a fight. However, it feels like there should have been such more of an actual bigger unlockable by the time you complete the entirety of the Ferrum League. I feel like at least you should have been able to unlock a new Pokémon, or even be given something much more grand to actually reward you for all the time that you put into the Ferrum League. But regardless though, the fighting in Pokémon Tournament is fantastic, it's really deep as for an actual new IP, it's surprisingly deep for a lot of people that are much more used to games like Pokémon which kind of work on a turn-based battle system, and for all the different characteristics that they take from Tekken, you know, it's really nice to see everything work so well together. I love the presentation, I think the graphics on the, the Wii U look fantastic, the soundtrack is really kind of superb and I love all the remixes and new pieces of music, and even nods to Tekken, you know, little easter eggs that are scattered throughout a lot of the different levels, and even some of the movesets for the Pokémon that are on the roster. I love all that working together and it makes for a really great experience when you're playing Pokémon Tournament on Wii U. 
Overall, I think you guys, if you own a Wii U, you definitely need to pick up Pokemon Tournament. It's really cool. It's really interesting. You're going to have a lot of fun playing with your friends, both offline and online. You won't get regret actually putting this into your gaming collection. But regardless, guys, that's just my thoughts. That's just my own personal opinion on this review of Pokemon Tournament. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'll definitely be streaming Pokemon Tournament later this week. Hopefully, I can show you guys some cool, neat things. I'm actually in the top 10 of the leaderboards right now. Granted, the game hasn't come out in the public, you know, both here in the United States and I believe also in Europe. So that might change at some point. But I'll be able to stream it for you guys on Twitch TV. Follow me on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash gamers with games where I'm streaming every single weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I I cannot wait to show you guys some more Pokemon Tournament. But either way, follow me on Twitter at VenomousFatMan1. Follow me on Twitch, Gamers with Gains, and be able to check out all my content here on the Gamers with Gains channel. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to all of you guys again real soon. Peace out, stay epic everybody.